A loan lender may try to get the money themselves. If the user doesn't pay back the loan, the payday lender may sell the debt to a debt collector, which we'll talk about in a bit. If the payday lender or collection agency can't get you to pay by using normal collection methods like phone calls and letters, the payday lender may decide to sue you to get a judgment for the rest of the debt. If the lender sues you and wins, it can take steps to enforce the ruling in civil court, depending on what your state law allows. Most of the time, a ruling is enforced by taking money out of a person's paycheck or bank account or putting a line on their property. Note that calling your boss or neighbors or getting a warrant for your arrest are not on this list of ways to enforce the law. Not paying back a debt is not a crime. Instead, it is a civil problem. Many loan lenders use the threat of being arrested for check fraud as a threat. This is a threat that has no basis unless the payday lender has proof that the user never planned to pay back the loan. It's very hard to prove that. Remember that in the United States, no one has been arrested or jailed for debt since the Civil War. If the payday loan company sells an account to a collection agent, the borrower is now obligated to repay the balance to the collection agent. A federal law called the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act FDCPA, states that a third-party collection agent must stop calling you if you notify them in writing to do so. Several states, such as California, New York, and Texas, extend many of the regulations in the FDCPA to cover original creditors as well. See advice if you're being harassed by a collection agent to learn what actions you can take if you believe a collection agent is violating the FDCPA. If the payday loan company sells the account to a collection agent, the debtor can stop the telephone calls by sending a cease communication demand letter, commonly called a cease and desist notice, to the collection agent. How can I handle payday loan collections? Many payday loan collectors use intimidation to strike fear into borrowers. Just because a person is in debt does not mean that person loses their rights as a consumer. As mentioned above, many payday lenders require borrowers to provide their checking account numbers so that payments can be withdrawn from the borrower's accounts automatically using the Automated Clearinghouse ACH. In instances where the borrower accounts lack sufficient funds, the payday lender will continue to attempt withdrawals. This may create overdraft charges for the borrower, and if done often enough, the bank may close the borrower's account. One common tactic to deal with payday lenders who repeatedly withdraw funds from a borrower's account is for the borrower to close the account and reopen another at the same bank. This is effective unless the bank links all transactions from the old account to the new one. If that happens, when the payday lender makes a withdrawal, the bank simply reaches into the new account to remove the funds. The lesson here is to make sure the bank does not allow electronic withdrawals from the old account to be transferred automatically to the new account. Once the account is closed, the borrower can create and negotiate a repayment plan with the lender. However, in Missouri, it is a violation of state law to write a check on a closed account. See the discussion below to learn more about Missouri law. Payday loan in Missouri. Under Missouri law, Unsecured payday loans must be made by a licensed lender, shall be a minimum of 14 days, and in a maximum of 31 days, cannot exceed $500, and cannot be charged more than $75 for a $100 loan. Incidentally, the APR for a $100 loan for 14 days and a $75 fee is 1980%. A payday loan can be rolled over a maximum of six times in Missouri. The borrower must reduce principal amount of loan by 5% or more upon each renewal. The lender is prohibited from making a series of ACH transactions to collect a single check. It is common for collection agents working for payday lenders to suggest that a person who defaults on a payday loan can be prosecuted under the state's criminal law. Missouri SS 570.12021 in part states, with a purpose to defraud the makes, issues or passes a check or other similar side order or any other form of presentment involving the transmission of account information for the payment of money.
In other words, it is a crime in Missouri if the payer writes a check on a closed account or if the account was closed between the time the check was written and the agreed-upon date of presentation of the check. However, Missouri SS 408.505 states that a payer does not commit the crime of passing a bad check if at the time the payee accepts a check there are insufficient funds on deposit at the time of acceptance if both parties agree the payee will present the check later. If a Missouri payday lender is making repeated ACH withdrawals to secure repayment for a loan, that lender is in violation of Missouri loan. If a payday loan debtor closes an account before the payment is made, the debtor may be in violation of Missouri SS 570.120. However, it is unclear if the debtor is in violation of SS 570.120 if the debtor closes the account in response to repeated ACH withdrawals or after the debtor has made some payments to the creditor with that account. Debtors in this situation should consult with the Missouri Division of Finance, file a complaint, and also consult with a Missouri attorney experienced with consumer law for guidance. To learn more about Missouri lending law, see this matrix of Missouri laws regarding consumer loans. To learn more about tactics and strategies for dealing with creditors, read the Bills.com article Debt Negotiation and Settlement Advice. Bills.com also offers more information on the Payday Loan Information page and has answered reader questions about payday loans in California, Massachusetts, New York, Florida, Texas, Illinois, and Virginia. If you do not repay a payday loan, the payday loan company has several legal remedies, including wage garnishment, levy, and lion.